Have you ever felt like you failed as a leader? If so, then this video is for you. Before we get into that, you are now home inside of the Chef Central. I'm Chef Willie, and I'm here to help you become the best version of yourself through music and life experience. So if you can, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Love it if you really rock with me. <laughs> and just continue on this journey with me because we go going places. But before we get into today's topic, I also want to show you guys a clip from the Chef Central Chef Squad archive. So let's go ahead and check it out right quick. Yeah, bro. Oh, 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 go, go, oh, 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 yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, 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 go, go, oh, 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 man. That clip was from one of my good friends, man. One of my boys, B, uh, met him in the military, great dude, smart dude. And I'm just thankful to be able to be put in that situation, honestly, just to meet people that just are full of life and full of energy. But that's a whole different story, but it relates to this video topic as well. Because for those of you that don't know, I was in the military. And when I first joined the military, I, was put into a leadership role, literally, as soon as I got to my first, you know, command, you know, workstation or whatever. And, you know, that made me have to really adapt and adjust and learn on the spot what it took to be a leader. And I do think some people are born leaders, but at the same time, you know, when you're thrown into the field, you know, you never know what to expect, honestly. But in doing that experience, um, I was able to lead people on the job and off the job. And I met a lot of great people. So during my, I wanna say three years, I was in Japan originally, three years. Um, I met a group of guys, you know, who, you know, I met through work and we eventually became friends. And they know who they are. Shout out to the team. And man, like, we just had the most amazing times. And, you know, looking back, I never seen that, you know, I was the source of energy, you know, that provided that. Because for me, I always had this mindset of, you know, everything is going to be okay no matter what we're going through. Like, I've always been optimistic. I've always been looking forward towards things. And I feel like, you know, that reflected based on the people that I had, you know, surrounding me. Keep in mind, I didn't know none of this at the time. Like, everything was just, like, flowing, like, natural. So, with the group of guys that I met um, my first three years in the military, um, I took it upon myself to make sure, like, you know, I'm that guy. I'm that guy that, you know, knows where the parties are, that knows where to have fun, that knows what's the good drinks, you know, to relax, you know. I wanted to be the guy that people came to when they needed, you know, a source of happiness, let's just say. And from that, man, just just wanting to put smiles and joys and put joy on people's face, that honestly made me happy. Like, it honestly wasn't even about me being a leader. It was just about me being able to, you know, provide that spark in someone's mind, provide that, you know, feeling to like, man, like, I like this dude. I really want to like rock, kick it with this dude. You know, I just wanted to make people happy. And from doing that, you know, I built a foundation, a team of people that just like, man, yo, I, I love you, man. You the goat, uh, all this stuff. And you know, it felt great. I'm not going to lie. It felt, it felt great knowing that what I was doing was producing like, you know, positive results. So the thing for me is um, during my first three years, I felt really accomplished to the point to where I could pass off my knowledge in being a leader, you know, into someone else. And I feel like once you get to that point, you really can like master anything. But here's the thing, here's the thing I had to learn. 
once I got to my, let's say, peak, when I was in Japan, the military, right? I felt like I was the man. I felt like, you know, anywhere I go, I can make it my home and I can do the same thing, you know, over and over again. <laughs> little did I know, little did I know. I came back to the States, California, and, um, you know, let's just say I tried to do the same thing and didn't get the same results. And with me doing that, it made me devalue myself as a person. You know, because me growing up, being this person that's leading, you know, men, women to, you know, whatever cause, you know, whatever just goal that we're trying to achieve, that's a big thing. That is a big thing. So the transition for me to come into the States and try to do the same thing, when it didn't happen, and you know, it didn't go the way I planned, that was a major like fucking, that was like a blow to me. Because for the majority of my adult life, I've always been this guy, I've always been this, you know, leader amongst people that just, you know, go for this cause and just do it. And to see that, you know, I applied the same methods and didn't get those like results, it was crushing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it was crushing. But the thing I had to realize is, you know, you can't save everybody, you know? And I said this like a million times on like a lot of other videos. And like, honestly, like I was on some Captain America shit. Like, you know, Captain America, I, I look at Captain America as a guy that's, you know, just, you know, righteous and, you know, wants to do, you know, what's best. But at the same time, you know, you just, you gotta see stuff for what it is sometimes, you know? And you really shouldn't let that change you as a person. Because honestly, for me, when things didn't go the way that I attended and I got negative results back from that, it kind of changed me as a person. But at the same time, it made me realize who I am. It made me realize that you can't quit when things get hard, no matter who it is. No matter if, you know, your best friend or your cousin or your sister, you know, they don't see the same things that other people see. You can't let that change you and degrade you as a person. You have to keep going no matter what. Say it with me, no matter what. And that was the thing I had to like, you know, realize. And the thing is also is, I feel like maturing as a leader, I had to realize like, you really have to understand the hearts of the team that you are leading. You know, you can't, to be an effective leader, you can't say, this is my way, we need to do this, everything is my way, let's go, let's do this, no. To be, in my experience, to be an effective leader is you need to understand the hearts of your team. You need to be able to grow and mature and see things from other people's perspectives. Like, it's crazy to me because all this time in my life, like, I'm gonna keep it real, y'all, I'm gonna spit the facts. You know, I've always been this person that's just wanna push forward for something push forward for change, push forward for something positive. And, you know, some of the people that were closest to me in my life, you know, when they didn't see it and other people seen it, it brought me down. It literally crushed me. But I had to open my eyes and see. And I think for a lot of people, fortunately, fortunately for me, I've seen how I've affected people with my words, with my actions. A lot of people haven't. A lot of people wanna be this person that's, you know, optimistic or just motivating, but they're surrounded around a crowd of negativity. But I'm telling you, go for it. Do not let anyone deter you from where you need to be. And you might be thinking to yourself like, 
you know, I don't want to be a leader. Like, man, I just want to do my own thing. But the truth is, somebody's always watching you. So you have to carry yourself as a leader, like no matter where you go. But the thing I want you guys to take away from this video is being an effective leader is knowing when you're wrong. Even when you have the best and just greatest intentions. Because even though I see, you know, a vision for someone, they might see a vision for themselves that don't co-align with my vision. And you have to accept that. You have to accept that. That was hard for me to accept because me, I'm the type of person that knows where I'm headed. I know my end goal. So anybody that doesn't see it, you know, it is what it is. But I can't feel a certain way towards that, even if they're, you know, friends, you know, family and stuff like that. And you have to see that as well. You know, the leaders who succeed are the ones that understand the hearts of their team. And the thing is, true leaders never fail. We take L's, which are learning lessons. So hopefully you guys, you know, can learn from me and watch from me because like it's been a long journey for me to get to this place where I needed to be a long ass time ago. But now I'm here giving you this message and I'm hoping that, you know, you can relate or you know someone that can relate. If things don't go your way and you are the leader of a team, you need to sit back and understand why. You know, you can't bash, you can't criticize, you can't ridicule anybody. You have to be understanding if you want to be an effective leader. And that's why I'm doing this today because I'm able to reflect and see like what I did wrong in the past. So hopefully you guys got some out of the message. Um, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing and um, really take value in the things that I say, then I'm inviting you to join me. Join me on this journey. Hit who is chefwoolly.com and you know, just join me on this journey because like I'm involving every day as we speak and I you know, want to create a community. I want to start a movement of people that believe the same thing. People that want to empower others. People that want to, you know, see world change and excuse me, people that want to just push the boundaries of what's being told. So if that's you, then I invite you to join me on this journey. Other than that, that's going to be it for today's video. You are now exiting the Chef Central. It's been your boy, Chef Willie. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.